Hi, this is Shane and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. Um, and as you know, Discover University is out and we are having, we're following our first student. This is Adelia. She's a teen at the moment. She's a, a student. Um, she lives in San Myshuno with her dad's girlfriend, Caitlin, her little brother, what is his name? I can't remember. Ramsey. And her dad, Esteban. And she is going to age up in about five days. She has been... Um, she has been skilling up. She got her, her childhood aspiration. And she was working her way through an adult aspiration. And I was just getting her skilled up in order to get try and get some scholarships for school so um so yeah so i'm going into this pretty much blind i've had a a quick little look so i know how to apply for scholarships and that's pretty much it i don't know anything else so um so yeah this is this is like a first play i have no idea so um we need a computer to get a scholarship Actually, I don't even know if you can apply on your phone. And um, one thing you can do, you can split from household and move. You don't have to do it from the Manage World screen anymore, which is awesome. I was wondering when they were going to do that. Um, let's see. Notebook. No. Entertainment. I doubt. Household. Place advertise, advertisement for roommates. Oh, that's interesting. So if I put in an extra bed, they should be able to get a roommate. Okay. Um, let's see, what else is there? Work. Sit to school. Sit on a skill class. Oh, so she can take a skill class. Because in university, you can go to a skill class and learn a skill. So anybody can sit on it, I'm guessing. Travel. No, and that's what social. So no, you need to apply for scholarships on a computer, it looks like. I did get um, a pop-up earlier. Where is it? Adelia should start thinking about further education. Take a look at her options by researching universities below or on a computer. So you can click on the links about the two and it will tell you about the two universities or you can go to the computer university and if you go to scholarships, um, if you go into review guidance counselors info packet, it tells you about the two universities. And then if you also go to, um, email guidance counselor for advice it will tell you what scholarships you're you're eligible for and it does take about 24 hours in game hours obviously um for your scholarships to come back so there are no knowing your scholarships it just lets you know oh it lets you know about the kind of scholarships you can get so you can get distinguished scholarships um Sims who have been accepted into distinguished degree programs will automatically receive scholarships. Uh, working on a Sims grade and skills before applying can lead to more degree acceptances and more scholarship money. Okay, you've got a need-based scholarship, you've got skill scholarships, career scholarships, esports and sports scholarships and residence grant. So how do you get into a, di a distinguished scholarship, a dis distinguished degree? That's what I want to know. Because I did see, uh, let's just click on that, for example. You have degrees and distinguished degrees, but I don't know how, what's the difference? Like, is a distinguished degree like a master's? Do you need to do a degree before you do a distinguished degree? I, I don't know. But um, I want Adelia to do the um, engineering career. So, oh, I wonder. 
But how do you find out what degrees go with which careers? Because I'm guessing to do engineering, you would need to do... Oh. I don't know. Because, I mean, obviously, in real life, to you need to do an engineering degree. They don't have an engineering degree. And the closest would be either computer science or physics. So I am not sure. Because I'm guessing she's going to go to Foxbury Institute. Well, it depends because um, these degrees are offered as a distinguished degree at Foxbury, but as a degree at um, Brightchester. So I, I don't know. I really don't know. Did she email? Did she email the person? Okay, she has the best chance of earning these scholarships. Building the future. Sims who are skilled in handiness or rocket science may be eligible for this scholarship. San Myshuno resident and food and drink. So if she gets all of them, she'll get uh, four and two is six and three is nine, 950, 950 simoleons off her university fees. Okay, well then let's let's apply for scholarships. So building the future, San Myshuno and food and drink. Because she has um she has handiness, logic, writing, cooking. Well not so much cooking, but handiness, logic and writing. Although they say food and drink. Um, can you future star performing arts? Okay, Sam Myshuno. So you can't you can't apply for more than um, apply for scholarships. You have to apply for them individually. You can't just apply for like three or four at one time, which doesn't make sense. Uh, we did um, Sam Myshuno. Build in the future. And. Yeah, sorry, kiddo. I know you want to eat your food and food and drink. Okay, what is that? Oh, Penny Pixies. All right, well, go and sort yourself out. There's Esteban, that's her dad. Uh, for some reason, he doesn't like to sleep in his bed. I've assigned... Assigned left side to Esteban. I'm pretty sure I've, ass I've assigned him to, to the bed more than once. Uh, uh, Ramsey, why are you angry? Uh, noisy neighbours and you're hungry. Alright, let's get you some food out the fridge. That's the only thing about living in apartments. The neighbours are disgusting. Okay. Food. Grab a serving. But yeah, it takes about 24 hours. So tomorrow, I'm guessing tomorrow, Tuesday after school, she can check for her um, for her scholarships and see what she has. So in that case, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here and then we'll come back once she has her scholarships and then we can see where we go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So, um, it's about two in the morning the next day. Um, well, it's a bit, it was well over 24 hours. And she's been awarded, um, two scholarships, San Myshuno Resident and Build in the Future, and not awarded food and drink. I guess her, her cooking skill wasn't high enough. So the two that she got, well, the one that she got awarded, um, Handiness was level 7. I'm guessing you would have to be level 5 and over 
in order to get a scholarship in a particular thing. So um, we can start applying for universities. And I have no idea what you do, how you do that. I know you're hungry and stuff, but we need to do this first. You can, food can wait. Food's not that important, Adelia. So, um, so yeah, while we were waiting, Ramsey, her little brother, aged up into a child, and her dad and his girlfriend both aged up into elders. Um, uh, the university application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the re results back sometime in the next few days. Adelia may also check her application status at any time on a computer. Okay, so if you go to university, check application status. Uh, she's playing with her brother. Ah, uh, still going through the system, check back soon, okay. Okay, um, Adelia's just come home. There was mail delivered today. So, I'm wondering, oh, university. Scholarships. No, that's apply for scholarships. Okay, you can do that on the mailbox. Okay. That's good to know. Um, she's collected everything from the mailbox. Oh, scholarship result letter. Open. Uh, she's won this resident scholarship. Are they all scholarship? Re okay. We're sorry to inform Adelia Mendez that she has not been awarded the food and drink. Better luck next time. And then this one's going to be saying that she's got building the future. Okay, so I'm guessing then her university application. She'll get that tomorrow after school. Oh, I missed the day. Well, I don't. I shouldn't say that because it's a different pack at the end of the day. But in the other two iterations of The Sims, it was pretty much instantaneous. You sat the exam or you applied for school, for, for um, university, and it was pretty much straight away. And this involves a lot of waiting, which it's more like real life, but I don't know if I like it yet. Yeah, I don't know if I like it yet because then that means you just have I guess if you were go if you were incorporating this into your gameplay you would have to be um like just like the week before your your sim aged up you'll start applying for scholarships and universities and stuff although I don't know if she can go as a, as a teen cuz her birthday is on Friday is it Friday? Yes, her birthday is on Friday. So hopefully she'll get her scholarship tomorrow morning. And then um we'll we'll see if she can go to school as a teen or if she has to be a young adult. Because that's one thing I don't know. I don't know. I've just jumped back in to say that um, Adelia has the, has a stressed, uh, well, tense moodlet from awaiting university acceptance, which is quite funny. Well, it's not really that funny. It is very stressful. But, um, but yeah, she's stressed out by it. Very tense, waiting for her ex university acceptance. And also she needs amusement from low fun. So it is, <coughs> excuse me, it's Friday afternoon. We have everything from the mailbox and it's a university acceptance letter. So does that mean she's been accepted or is it just called that? But let's have a look. Where is Adelia? Um, acceptance letter. Okay. Uh, Historical University of Brightchester. Ooh. Um, is pleased to offer Adelia Mendez admittance to the, into the following degrees. Um, young adult or older Sims who wish to join our hallow, hallowed halls, hallowed halls, hallowed halls should enroll via mailbox, phone, or computer. So she can do any one of the two sets of degrees from Brightchester and Foxbury. 
wants her to come and she can do any one of the two sets of degrees. Now, I want to do the distinguished degree. And I think. Wait a minute. Computer science, you can't do a distinguished degree in computer science. You can do it in physics, though. I think we might have to do physics if we want to. I don't know which degree tie students are tomorrow. I think. I think Foxbury. The thing is, they don't really say, which is a bit of a pain. I think physics. Physics. We'll do physics. Okay, so we're going to go to Foxbury Institute and do and do a distinguished degree in physics because I'm intrigued by the distinguished degrees. So university, uh, check application status. Well, we know what we have because we've just read the letter. She's got a happy moodlet from well distinguished. Okay. But, and it's the same, the same thing that we just read. So hopefully now from the computer. Okay. She has to be a young adult in order to enroll. So let's get a birthday cake all baked up and let's get her out there. Okay, enrollment guide. Select a university, degree selection, housing selection and tuition. Okay, uh, Brychester, um, but nearly a millennium of history and, and tradition, the University of Brychester boasts the oldest university still teaching today. Originally built as a private academy for vacationing royal families, it has kept the design of the original building details that Princess Cordelia helped design in her years there, along with a collection of her diaries about staying in the nearby castle. Nowadays, the university aims to fulfill its mission, moulding students into well-rounded, upstanding sims. Student organisation, uh, Brightchester Spirit Corps, uh, Art Society and Debate Guild, and Foxbury Institute is the newer of the two in universities in Brightchester. The Foxbury Institute was established only half a century ago with the help of a generous land grab endowment, but already has established itself as a premier place of higher learning. With its striking modern campus, impressive labs and facilities, and litany of lu alumni who have gone on to storied careers of innovation, the Institute sets out to inspire future generations while teaching students to aim high and dream big. Okay. So, um, ah, okay. So you have all the degrees and you have all the degree details. So, uh, physics, you can't get physics as a fine, as a distinguished degree. Oh no, hold on. Okay. Okay. So you had to click on one of these. So we clicked on Foxbury. Um, Okay, so she can't get a distinguished degree in computer science. If she wants computer science, she has to go to f to um she has, if she wants computer science, she has to go to Bright Brightchester Physics. Okay. Um and it will help oh good see physics mechanical engineer that's what she wants to do okay so we'll do a deg distinguished degree i'm still not sure what the difference is though but yeah we will do a full class load uh 12 classes to graduate because <laughs> if we do four classes uh, magnets and mechanics, the fixes in, experiments in energy, analog robotics in a digital world. That is, I'm guessing, for the first first semester first semester. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so if she stays home, there's no additional cost. Off campus, she has to move out the current lot. Uh 
uh, university housing. Boxbury, Boxbury. Okay, so you only get, you'll only get for your particular university. There's no affiliation, no gender restriction. Okay. She'll want to live on campus. Um, it's only four beds in this one. There's eight in that one and eight in that one. Uh, housing costs are paid per term. And Sims are encouraged to bring everything they need for university in the personal inventory before moving. Okay. I don't know. Should we live with only four other students, but it costs more? Or live with eight students and it costs less. All right, let's go University Housing Tidal Tower. Next. Pay with student loan and pay with household fees. We have enough to cover. We have enough to cover. Oh. Okay. Oh, a merit scholarship. So all she has to pay is three simoleons. That's not bad. Or pay with household funds. Yeah, because I mean, there's not much point taking out a student loan for three simoleons. Payment options is a question mark. Okay, right. So that's what we're going to do then. And um, it's just going to be Adelia. And how much should we give her? If we give her half, uh, give her 30. Because, I mean, her parents need to stuff to live on. Okay, let's pick a room. We have one, two, four rooms. It said there was eight, eight beds. Oh, okay. You can either have a room by yourself or you can share. Well, it's not going to be living in a dorm unless you share with somebody. Let's pick this bed. Is this assigned to anybody? Uh, Adelia can get that one. If we don't assign beds, do people just... What happens? Let's see what happens. Okay, um, is she sick? She is sick. Okay, um, we need... Oh, we should have bought a computer with us. I didn't think about a laptop. Are there laptops in the commons? Common areas? No, there's no laptops. Who's this? Kobe. We have more people. I guess they assign themselves. Yeah, they've assigned themselves to beds. Yeah, so if you don't assign people to beds, they assign themselves to beds. Okay, let's have a look at... Actually, let's change her aspiration. Because there is one for um, university, academic. So let's do that. Uh, achieve level three research and debate skill. Okay. Um, go and take a shower. Take a shower and use the toilet. Okay. Um, how do we see what our class load is? Class is in four days. Okay, so she has classes. Let me see. Okay. Oh, so today's Saturday. Her first class is the fix is in. It looks like. All right, so... Four. Let's pull this up so we can see everything. So for magnets and mechanics, she has to submit a term paper. And she has to do homework. 
I wonder if she gets homework in a book. Ooh, what's this? Term presentation. Um. Ah, so she gets a book and she has to do homework for these different classes. Okay. Okay, so she has to submit a term paper for magnets and mechanics. She has to do the final exam for the fixes in. Um, give a presentation for robotics. Okay, so she has to learn the robotics skill. All right, well, Adelia, what are you doing, buddy? Don't know what he's doing. Let's find a kiosk. Are you changed? You are changed. You're hungry. Somebody's made food. Sure, you can grab a serving. But we need to see what we... Let's go and have a look around campus. What do we have? And also, we need... We should... We should really change your wardrobe because, you know, lots of new clothes and stuff, but not yet. Is somebody using a computer? No, they're just sitting down. So is he? Well, he's a young adult. He's just got an old hairstyle. He just looks old. Oh, I'm liking these beds with the, um, with the storage underneath. That looks pretty cool. All right. Have you finished eating your food? We need to go out and have a look around, see if we can find a, a kiosk so we can buy books and stuff. School Spirit Day. Okay, let's go see if we can find what's going on. Foxbury Campus. Uh, this is where we are. Larry's Lagoon, Foxbury Commons. And this is Foxbury. This is Gibbs Hill, and it's in the centre of Brightchester. Between the two universities. Um, so it's just like the little town. And then this has to be Brightchester. Right, Chester University students only. Uh, Foxbury Institute students only. All right, so these have to be the other two dorms. All right, well, let's go. Did it say where school spirit is? Let's go to the commons first and see what's going on. Saw so you heading out. What are we doing? Okay. Um, friendly introduction. You know what? She should have. She should have the. Um, oh, what's that thing? The one that gives you instant friends. Incredibly friendly. Wonder if there's any other new traits you can get. Forever full, never weary, forever fresh. That sounds like a a deodorant. Forever fresh. Wear forever fresh. And you will be forever fresh. But we want this one. Okay, so this is the commons. Um, you can pay ping, play ping pong. You can get food from here. I wonder how you, how you find out what's being served and when. Lunch opens at 12.30. 12 o'clock. Okay, you can play ping pong. You can just hang out. Upstairs they have computers and stuffs. Oh, this has to be one of the um, by university items. You know what I should have looked for? One of those chests so that she can put all her stuff in it. Because I did see some of the um, the streams, but I didn't... I didn't pay too close attention because I want to be surprised. So, um, so yeah. Okay, uh, we got posters, art history, university course book. We could get a bike. Let's buy a bike. Um, biology university course book, character defining rug. Communications, computer science, what are we doing? We're doing physics, aren't we? Economics, fine arts. Um, we've got lamps. Gross guard. Gross guard plus. Uh, so what does it do? 
A visual barrier between you and your roomie. <laughs> You've got mini fridges. Oh, we have chests. What colour chests? I think a blue one. Uh, isosceles triangle of spirit on a stick. Kaboom box. Desk lights. Oh, we need... We should have a laptop. Let's get a laptop. Notes landing by Dull Dulles Ranch. I have no idea what that is. And physics university course book. The course book for the physics degree will accelerate learning and provide a displacement to your perspective. Study it to have less friction during the final exam. I think we need that. Porter pal. I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay. We don't want a keg stand. Not yet. Okay. I think that's what we need right now. And where do they do the school spirit stuff? Is that the mascot? I can't tell. I think that's the mascot. Lobster Larry. Take selfie with mascot. Uh, you can do your homework, but, you know, take a selfie first. Uh, no, Dad. She doesn't want to come over. It's her first day at university. Give her a chance to settle in. There's not a lot of people around, though. So we're getting a selfie with the Lobster Larry. So, yeah, I think I might make that. Might make that the um the picture. Okay, right. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the picture for the for the let's play. Because you know, nothing says school. Oh no, wrong thing. Then getting a the selfie with the school mascot. Okay, high five. And friendly introduction. Did we not do a high five? Did I miss the high five? That was definitely a blink and miss it thing. Wait a minute, Soya Coca, isn't that somebody Isn't that the 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 um the Baldin guy? I'm sure that is in in our dorm. And I think over here There you go, school spirit stuff. So you can haggle and friendly introduction. Hey, Lilith's present. That's a blast from the past. Eliza Pancakes. Penny Pizzazz. Everybody's a student. Daryl Charm. Is this going to be just like um, um, Realm of Magic, where all your townies are turning up? Oh, she's riding her bike. I missed that bit. I'd forgotten she'd picked a bike. Okay, she did talk to everybody, right? Play Juice Pong. Uh, she's embarrassed because... Oh, because she didn't haggle. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, is there anything else? Uh... The game is already in progress. Okay, she is playing. No, she's useless at juice pong. Okay. I was going to say, I don't see what the point of the game is, but I can see what the point of the game is. I mean, in real life, it's to get you drunk. Okay, the game ended early because too many players wanted to quit. Only two people were playing. So I'm not sure about people wanting to quit. But, um... Oh, the car park looks pretty cool. Oh, is this the school statue? Um, make an offering for academic success. We could leave the offering of a Monte Cristo sandwich. And she's uncomfortable from being ill. So everybody... What is everybody... Do they know something that we don't know? I know, they're just going. Well, maybe we should go back to the dorm and get some medicine. Oh, she wants to do her homework. Okay, which homework are you doing? Magnets and mechanics. I think that was her first class, wasn't it? Uh, no, that is... Yes. No, that's the one on Tuesday. They've all... All of them, the daily task is do homework. Okay, I think... Esports matches take place every Saturday. Take place every Saturday. 
6 p.m. at the Foxbury Arena. Tickets can be purchased from the arena at the start of the match. Okay, well then let's take in an eSports thing from the arena. Where's the arena? Okay, your sim is here. Um, library, Pepper Pub, Darkwing. So where's the arena? Uh, that's a skill class. Is this the arena? No, that's a guest lecture. Oh, is this the arena? Attend eSports game. Take this off the screen. Too much going on. Okay, let's have a look. Um, okay, I'm guessing it's a rabbit hole thing. But that's okay. So attend esports game. Okay, so you can attend guest lectures. That's university housing. That's the commons. And this one has to be hers. Did we win? Oh, that's the only thing when you've got tall buildings in The Sims, you never go down to ground level. And she's doing her homework for who? Uh, the fixers in. Well, if that's what she wants to do, that's fine. And then we can go home. And then um, I think we could finish up the episode. Okay, do we have a desk? We have a desk. We have... All right. Oh, I have cheats turned on. But I want to turn the chest. Oh, this isn't good. All right, set label. Um, maybe I should put her last name as well. Not that there's going to be any other Adelia's on campus, but just in case. Okay, we, uh, we can only put uh, school acceptance letter. No. You put the potions. Yes. Health potion? Yeah. I don't want to put that in there though. We can put that in, we could put in that, but not... Oh, we can sell this anyway because we don't need that. Okay, I don't... So if we put this back in our inventory, hopefully we won't lose the stuff that's in it. Place in world. Oh, we haven't lost the stuff. All right, and then set security settings, lock computer for everyone but Adelia, and then put that back in the inventory. But that is everything. What's that? That is everything. So that's our first, yeah, Sawyer Coker. Yeah, he's the guy. That's that's Larry. I knew I recognised the name. So, oh, it's two in the morning. Go to bed. Go to bed, Adina. Go to bed, Ad Adina, Adelia. So, that is the end of her first. Well, we've just got into university and the end of her first day so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode so thanks for watching Bye bye